To power up the Dawn, find the power socket on the back. Plug the provided power adapter into the socket. And you'll see the display come to life. The display has five levels of brightness that can be cycled pressing the snooze button. To use the backup battery feature, find on the underside the battery door. Remove the battery door and insert two AAA batteries. If there is a power cut and you've installed the backup batteries, the correct time and alarm settings will be retained when the power comes back on. To set the time on the dawn, ensure that it's in standby mode. If it is in Bluetooth or radio mode, press and hold the mode button to switch to standby mode. Press and hold the key of the clock symbol to set the time. First, choose between displaying the 24 hour or 12 hour format using the forward and back buttons. Save your selection by pressing the clock button once. Adjust the hours by pressing the forward and back buttons. Confirm the hours by pressing the clock button. Adjust the minutes by pressing the forward and back buttons. Confirm the minutes by pressing the clock button. To set the alarms, ensure that the dawn is in standby mode. If the dawn is in Bluetooth or radio mode, press and hold the mode button to switch it to standby mode. To set up the alarms, Press and hold the button with the alarm symbol above it. On the display, alarm 1 will flash. This means you are setting alarm 1. Use the forward and back keys to adjust the hour of alarm 1. To confirm, press the alarm key once. Adjust the minutes of alarm 1 with the forward and back keys. And confirm with the alarm key. Set the alarm sound to either beeper or radio mode using the forward and back keys. Save this selection with the alarm key. The same procedure can be followed for alarm 2. Alarm 2 hours. Alarm 2 minutes. Alarm 2 sound. Now you've set your alarms, you can enable the alarms by pressing the alarm key once. AL1 signifies that only alarm 1 will activate. Press the alarm key again to enable alarm 2 only. This signifies that only Alarm 2 will activate. Press the Alarm key again to enable both of the alarms. In this case, both the alarms will activate at their respective times. Press the Alarm key again to disable both alarms. When the alarm activates, you can press the snooze button to snooze the alarm for 9 minutes.
To turn the alarm off, press the mode button. To change modes on the Dawn, press the mode button once. To toggle to the other mode, press the mode button again. To switch to standby mode from either of these modes, press and hold the mode button. To ensure the best radio reception, fully extend the antenna from the back of the Dawn. To use the radio, press the mode button until the radio frequency appears on the display. To manually tune the radio frequency, use the forward and back buttons to tune up and down the radio frequency. If you don't want to manually tune to a radio station, you can press and hold either buttons to scan for a strong station in that direction. Rising fuel, energy and to adjust the volume, it is expected to press the volume up and down buttons the indicated on the no front panel. Expected to exceed 15%, thanks to the energy support to households offered by the government. September's figure for the consumer price index normally sets a baseline for the. And to save the current radio frequency to a preset um, slot, press and hold the play button. Uh, as a budget on Halloween. Choose which preset slot to save to with the forward and back buttons. will go to town on that one. Save the station to the selected preset slot by pressing the play button. Look at the front page of that Daily Express and the Daily Express. To recall a preset, press the play button once. now. Have Choose which preset slot to recall with the forward and back buttons. In the cost of living. I think it is. BBC Radio One. To use the Bluetooth function of the Dawn, press the mode key until BT shows on the display. The flashing BT icon means the Dawn is in pairing mode. On your device, open the Bluetooth settings and look for the iBox Dawn. Pair this and the BT icon will stop flashing on the Dawn. You can now use the Dawn to control music on your phone. Disconnect your device, press and hold the play button. The Bluetooth icon will now be flashing and the Dawn is ready to pair again. The Dawn has a wireless charging pad on the top. Place your wireless charging phone on the top to start charging. Wireless charging is the most effective if placed centrally. The phone will still charge if it is slightly off centre, however it will be at a reduced charging rate. On the display, a wireless icon will appear to indicate the wireless charging pad is being used. 